Hey everyone, welcome to Buick Outdoors. If you're new around here, my name is Sheldon Marion, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some squirrel snares. So essentially what we're going to be doing today is just recreating like a squirrel running pole. And you'll see them quite a bit. Like this tree here, that's down. You can see where the squirrel has run across this. And basically what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be cutting down a much smaller tree and putting it up either at an angle like this so it's kind of like a 45 to come off the ground onto a tree branch or what you can do is you can run it between two trees and then from there we'll be setting our snares on top of that uh, running pole that way when they go running across like you had on this one the squirrel will run through your snare, it'll tighten up, he falls off, and then uh, when you come and check your snares, you'll have supper sitting there waiting for you. So to start this off, uh, we're basically kind of doing three things, kind of all at once. Uh, the first thing is you want to find out where your squirrels are. Uh, you can find them by either tracks, which look like this here. You got two front feet, two back feet, and this one here you can tell he was kind of running that way. And then we're also looking for a suitable tree. Uh, you can either use one like this one here where it branches off so that way our running pole has somewhere to sit. Or you find one with some really thick limbs coming off to the side and then that way uh, something like this you'll be able to put your running pole right here uh, if you happen to have hammer and nails doesn't really matter you just pick kind of two trees and then also in the spot where there's a squirrel cache is probably your best bet and the squirrel cache you'll see here it's not a great uh, show of it here but a squirrel cache is where they've been caching all their food and it'll be like big mounds of like spruce cones and stuff like that that you'll find and then also we need one more thing which is a suitable tree to use as a running pole set and you don't want it to be too thick because then you end up just using up all your wire plus they can go around your snares and you don't want it too thin either because then it just it'll just flex and it's it's not too great plus they won't really want to run up it either so if you find one like this one here it's roughly an uh, inch and a half wide or so so this one here it'll work pretty good I just gotta grab my axe and I'll chop this one down and then we'll start setting it up I don't like Alrighty, so we picked up this tree here that we're going to use for our squirrel snares. Might as well take off these branches while it's standing. Makes it a little bit easier. There we go. So now we got our tree down, I'm going to take off a bunch of these branches. Now for this one, we don't need it overly too long. 
Maybe about here we'll cut her off. We'll get rid of this. There we go. Now we have a nice little running pole. Now we'll take this over to our tree, get it all set up. There we go. So we got our pole set up into place here now. You can move some of these branches out of the way. So when you have a pole that's this long, it's uh, well, probably about 10 feet or so. What we can do is you can put a snare about every foot until, until you're about kind of maybe 18 inches off the ground just because once the snare grabs a squirrel He'll fall off and then he'll be hanging here and if the squirrel is too close to the ground What end up happening is uh, mice and shrews they might be able to crawl up onto it and they'll start eating it on you But basically what I got here Is just some regular old snare wire uh, Typically on squirrels you want to use the real thin stuff like the 24 and 26 gauge stuff. I believe this is the 22 gauge, which will still work. Uh, the thin, thinner stuff is meant so it actually goes behind their jawbone and you get a really good catch on them. That way they, uh, they go really, really fast. If you use the thicker stuff, it might not quite get underneath as tight. So and they might kinda, uh, it might take them a few extra seconds to uh to go but anyways i'm gonna cut off a chunk of this and i'll show you just how i make my snares okay so i got my snare wire here we don't need overly too much well not much will work then i got my leatherman Snip off what we need here. Now, basically, what I'm doing is I'm taking this tail end here, I'm gonna make a small little loop. So now you have this little circle here. Grab that, just wrap this around itself. Now what you got is the start of your snare. Take your other end like this. Now back up. Put her through and now you have essentially a snare. And this is the identical way that I do my rabbit snares too. If you guys want to check out that video, I'll put a little link in the description below for you now with this uh you want this to be about an inch and a half wide and a lot of times it'll want to swing on you so what i do is i grab this i come back the other way and that way here it has this little pinch that It'll make it so it won't slide on you. And basically you take this, wrap it around your tree a couple of times. Try to keep it as tight as possible. Some days it's a little difficult.
basically this is just how you secure it to the tree. So now that's good and tight there. Take the leather in. There we go. Then you take this and you want to position it. So it's roughly about an inch from the bottom. And this is usually about the hardest part is just trying to get your wire to kind of work with you. So now we have that set up. What'll end up happening, I needs to be down just a little bit more. Now uh, we're getting close. So what'll end up happening is as a squirrel's running around here, you want to climb up this tree, but him being lazy, instead of going up the tree itself, you'll see your little running pole. And what'll happen is you'll run up here, and as he's running up to get into the tree, right there's your snare. So, as he's coming up like this, he runs through the snare. Then we'll hop in. I'll kind of, I'll show you with a stick so I don't kind of hurt my finger or whatever. He'll end up running through here. This bottom piece right here, he'll kind of get him underneath the chin. And he'll keep going up and he'll tighten the snare around himself. And then basically, this falls down, it tightens up, and you come back, and that'll be your squirrel sitting there. And just like that, you'll have supper. <laughs> so, because we're not in any kind of a survival situation or anything like that, or on the trap line, I remove the squirrel snare, throw the branch over there, and we're gonna get out of here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Uh, hopefully you never actually need to use it, but if you do, hopefully this here helps you out, get you out of a bind. Or if you are on the trap line, it's an amazing time to go out in, uh, in the warmer weeks of March and uh snare some squirrels to the kids and all that good stuff but anyways guys if you enjoyed this video please uh hit the like button down in the corner uh leave us a comment or two let us know how you guys made out and subscribe to the channel anyways guys we're packing up we're heading out of here catch you on the next one